welcome back to the Kintsugi guitar series. Last time we were looking at the concept and design elements. This episode I'm finally going to be getting into picking up some tools and making some sawdust. So firstly I'm preparing my main body piece and making sure it's all perfectly flat and square. It's just a few little lumps and bumps I need to sort out with my number five plane. So once I'm happy with that, I move on to the snap to drop top. I'm using some cling film so I don't end up gluing the wood um, on the top to the drop top. And when the drop top glue has set, I sand down to make sure everything's perfectly level and smooth. So as I particularly like this bold camper drop top, I thought I'd make the snap into a design feature. I try to make each snap feel as organic as the original. And it turns out the bold camper is both brittle and incredibly strong. Then I had to glue each individual piece down to the main body and clamp it in position. I think the cracking formation is looking really natural and suits the bold grain really well, so I'm definitely happy with how things are starting to look already. I thought I could have improved a few of the edges here, so I'm using the Dremel to make them feel a touch more organic.
Here's the fun part. I'm going to try and create the gold glue effect of Kintsugi with epoxy resin and gold mica powder. I experimented with resin on some scraps until I got the desired effect before moving on to the real thing. And this powder gets absolutely everywhere. As always, more sanding. I then make my usual MDF template for routing purposes. The jigsaw struggles a touch with this incredibly dense black limber. But with some patience, the blade doesn't become too stressed and bend. Once I have my rough cut, which is a mill or so outside the marked line, I can then move on to routing and refining the edges. I also add a small round over to the front and a medium round over to the back. idea of either having a black stain or a vertical dark blue to light blue gradient. Now I've got some Kintsugi scraps, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to get a taste of what these finishes might be like. It looks like the camphor absorbs the stain in a very inconsistent way um, and it's also quite thirsty so it may take a few more coats. then start the staining process off for real. Firstly I add a black coat on the drop top, then sand away in order to exaggerate the grain. So the body is already looking great and I really love the amazing grain of the black limber. I think that's a good place to leave this episode. I hope you join us next time where we'll be looking at black limber and ebony neck that I'll be making with hand tools. See you next time!